Bring up the Planet of the Apes movie, then you're going to see some fireworks between these two up here. I haven't I seen it yet. He hasn't um, seen it yet. I'm I'm concerned. I because... still need to watch the Woody Harrelson one. I, that, I still got to watch that one. So I need to watch that before I see this new one. And do you have to the, though? Yeah, of. you. Do, well, well, I you don't want to just to. Yeah. Based on what I've heard about the new one, you don't really. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like I, a whole I, I new. See it. Oh, you need to yeah. see it anyway. The end of the the end of the that movie is really good. Yeah, that's Sad. what I hear. Fourth but... one picks up right where the last one left off. And then it jumps ahead a few generations. Like, literally, that's what it says a few generations later. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I mean, and, like and Caesar out. is, like, hovering over the film. It is a lot about his teachings, what he meant. Uh, it, it, it Like, the first films have, a, you know, the allegory of kind of like Moses and Exodus. This one mm-hmm. is kind of, like, more heavily religious, but it's you even got the main character named Noah. Right? Like, I mean, it's kind of on the nose. and. It's it's just also about the bad ape misusing Caesar's teachings, uh, to, to try and uh, gain power and stuff like that. It, it it's not as good as the first three, but it it was decent. I thought overall. I mean, so how like far are we removed from uh, Caesar in this one? Uh, about three hundred um, years. Yeah, and apparently oh, very removed. Oh. We're still another good couple thousand years off before Taylor shows up. Or would be would be showing up. So, but is that nice. even the same universe? Technically, yeah. Well, not the how it's okay. It's a rebooted version of it. If you watch Rise of the Planet of the Apes, it says the Icarus is taken off, and then near the end of the film, it says they lost contact with the Icarus. So, at yeah, some I, re- point, I, I remember that, up. but I feel yeah. like we've deviated because they should have done this... that this film, right? They should have with after the death of Caesar, they should have jumped ahead thousands of years and done just actually remade planet of the apes that's the other thing that like i felt kind of mixed about this movie is there's a couple of scenes where they directly lift right out of the original planet of the apes i mean they're clearly paying homage but it's like at this point you're like why didn't you just remake the original one because you've gotten to that point where you can't i just don't but, i don't see how these connect to those because in a way they technically like the, don't no yeah they, they're, they're they don't because the original movies like are full circle because it's like right yeah, you know, no, they're they're their own thing, and we were always anticipating that they would go there. They were just going to lead, you know, go backwards of doing it instead of the other way around, like the other. And I was watching. I put this on Twitter today because I was like, it's amazing what they did with these movies, you know, with no like at the time in the performances of this. I I didn't know that this was a. Uh, I didn't well, yeah, know because this they was originally a, shot this version that you were watching or showing and then they recut it because they couldn't get a pg rating you think i could you think i could play this without getting dinged mm, so not the whole thing the problem is disney fucking owns it now oh, you'd, be able, to, you'd it. be able to play it and pause it and stuff if oh disney there's a possibility it, if disney owns it they don't really copyright strike yeah they not don't usually oh my violence prolongs hate hate prolongs violence by what right are you spilling blood? By the slave's right to punish his persecutors. Caesar, I, a descendant of slaves, am asking you to show humanity. But I was not born human. I know. The child of the evolved apes. Whose children shall rule the earth. For better or for worse? Do you think it could be worse? Do you think this riot will win freedom for all your kind? By tomorrow... By tomorrow it will be too late. Why a tiny, mindless insect like the Emperor Moth can communicate with another over a distance of 80 miles. An Emperor Ape might do slightly better? Slightly? What you have seen here today... Apes on the five continents will be imitating tomorrow. With knives against guns, with kerosene cans against plane throwers. Where there is fire, there is smoke. And in that smoke, from this day forward, my people will crouch and conspire and plot and plan for the inevitable day of man's downfall. The day when he finally and 
self-destructively, turns his weapons against his own kind, the day of the writing in the sky, when your cities lie buried under radioactive rubble, when the sea is a dead sea, and the land is a wasteland, out of which I will lead my people from their captivity, and we shall build our own cities, in which there will be no place for humans except to serve our ends. And we shall found our own armies, our own religion, our own dynasty. And that day is upon you now! That's a fucking great performance, I gotta say. Like I was about to say the yeah. same thing. I've and never, the I've never seen that before. I've only remember the ending where he's like, "Yeah, the humans will be governed with compassion." Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, because the no. theatrical this is the one I remember. It, yeah. Well, I'm surprised yeah. you remember it because this is they didn't show this till recently. Like, wow, like ten years ago, but yeah, twelve years ago. Yeah. This is I noticed two things in this. I must admit, it looks really good for its time. Like well, that perform. Like, you have to. He's doing all this with just his eyes because yeah. the prosthetics don't move that well. But this scene where he has this crazy look at it, man, like this. That's fucking great. We don't have cinema like this. Yeah, we, no, we don't. We don't get acting like that shout, anymore. Shout out, rest in peace, Roddy McDowell. 